you remember your first? Can you remember what you did? How you reacted with your first? video podcast and as I was driving the other day you know what I said I'd like to do a video of my first see it doesn't matter I mean you know it doesn't matter if you're talking about whatever it doesn't matter can you remember it and your reactions to it now Like my first, like my first, uh, my first job. Hey, why don't we start there? My first job, I was, I can say it now because I'm way beyond that age. My first job, I was 15. I wanted a job so bad, I told them I was uh, 16. Because my birthday was coming up in two or three weeks. So, that wasn't going to hurt too much. By the time I received the paycheck, I would have been 16 years old. So, I kind of feels a little bit. Hell, just say it. I lied. <laughs> and I um, got the job. Didn't too much care for it, though, but I liked it. Uh, it gave me a paycheck. Um, uh, wasn't hardly making any money then, but I got a paycheck. That's what was important. I received a paycheck, and I began to start buying myself clothes and, and, you know, helping my mom pay some bills. And, you know, I felt like I was contributing my first job. I was not going to lay around the house. not going to lay around the house at 16 and do nothing but watch television because then I started realizing they making money I want to make money too I don't want to make them money and I don't make any money so I got my first job at Kentucky Fried Chicken I was selling chicken you all and I got to say the lady that trained me she was really good she really was good even though that first friday i had been there two days that first friday she left me on the register by myself i had so many voids that night <laughs> they threw me on that front because somebody i did not know how to run no register in two days i didn't even know the menu <laughs> oh i kept messing up so that's why I feel sympathy for people when I go in and seem like they training and they mess up. I don't get mad and get all ignorant and, de and decent on them. I just sit there very quietly and wait for them to go through the process and try to fix it. So I continued working at Kentucky Fried Chicken until I was 21 and I went to college. And Kentucky Fried Chicken paid me very handsomely a bonus for those years that I did go and work with them because I moved from store to store. And I brought my sister and my brothers with me. All of us was working <laughs> at the same place. My cousins. <laughs> we all got a job. You know when you get a job at 15, 16 and you tell everybody and they say they're hiring. Well, I'm going to go up there and get me a job. That's what we did. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> Next is my first, what was my next first that I can remember? My first boyfriend. Next is my first, yeah, boyfriend. So-called boyfriend. Yeah, well, didn't work out so well, but I, I liked him because he was my first boyfriend, but I didn't like him like that, but he was a little older than me, but I liked him. You wanna know why I liked him? Because I liked the way he walked. <laughs> Can you believe that? I liked the way he 
walked. He walked with a little pimpish uh, pimp to him. <laughs> and he was bow legged. And that was the only thing I liked. <laughs> when my mom found out I had a boyfriend, I was meeting him around the corner at, at the washeteria and you know, you know how we do. Talking to him and nah, after a while it got old. I was talking to one of my friends one time and this was the same first boyfriend. And I started realizing he was noticing every time we left to go to work and go to school. And one day I didn't go to school and he called and asked why you didn't go to school. Now I noticed that next day, he was standing up outside when I was leaving to go to school. And I was talking to him when that same day, my mother's house got broken into. Guess who did it? Yeah. My first boyfriend. Anyway, I was talking to my friend, my best friend, and they were playing dominoes or cards at her house with her, with her brother, and and uh, she was walking by to come and meet me so we can go to the store and get us a soda. We should always do everything together, right? And um, he said, her brother said, hey, what about uh, that little lady you seeing? And uh, he said, who? See the lady I saw you with the other day at the washeterium. I thought this was my boyfriend, right? He said, oh, that be? Oh, you can have her if you want to. Let me tell you something about a good friend. My good friend came and told me exactly what he said. Well, you know after that, I was through. And that made it worse all the other so-called guys I call myself going with. So now I know you had a first boyfriend you think about and a first kid. I know you did and I know you think about it. So leave it in the comments below if you want to talk about it. This is the time my video podcast. The next one, my first video on YouTube. Now, let me take a step back because my first video, I was watching Casey Neistat. And Casey Neistat made it seem so good. We're all just so waiting cool. around for the well, cameras, the lights. There was I'm one guy who told me. I was watching. Uh, it was an ad on Casey Neistat, and I clicked the ad, and he was talking about when you become a YouTuber. He was talking to the smaller YouTubers, which was me. He said, just start. Don't try to be so perfect. Don't try to make everything exactly like you want it, because it's never, it's never going to get like that in the beginning. It's not. I went and bought me a camera, a little 30X camera, Sony. I thought I was a big shot. I had my camera. I had my little $10 tripod. I put the light, I bought some lights. The lights kept falling. My quality wasn't right. <laughs> I don't even think my, I'm gonna go back and show you my first video. I don't even think my hair was right. I think my makeup was somewhat okay. The sound, I don't even remember the sound being that great. But I had my little do not disturb sign on the door. Oh, I was a big shot. My first video. <laughs> anyway, just start. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> get you a camera iPhone, get you some light. Sometimes natural light is better than anything. And just store it. I see some people have these very nice rooms with the very nice soft lighting and, and the lights and the lights coming through. Peter McKinnon, 
uses natural light on mostly everything he do. So my first video, it wasn't so great, but it was okay to start. That was May 2017. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> So now, what's the next first that I remember? Oh, my first, my first time driving a car. My first time driving a car. My first time driving a Hey, get out the way. It's my first time. So scared. But my cousin, she already knew I was driving a car. We was like 16. She took her mother's car while her mother was asleep because she slept at, she worked at night. And she said, Kathy, come on, let me show you how to drive. She took me down the street, down a long, narrow path, and she said, I'm gonna let you drive. Now drive straight and keep your, keep your foot on the accelerator. Don't go too fast. And if you have to stop, just stop on the brakes when I tell you to stop. Diane taught me how to drive. Now, Diane and I was my first cousin. We were first cousins, so we did everything together. And when I say everything, everything. The first guy I asked for a picture, I was at my high school, walking by, never met the guy before, never seen the guy, didn't even know the guy's name. But I know I like this picture. So I asked him for a picture. And I said, excuse me, can I have one of your pictures? He said, who are you? Wait, wait, wait a minute, what is your name? Uh, excuse me, let me tell you something about these pictures. Now, let me back back. Have you had a set, a set of pictures that you had to take on to your mom before you cut them for any reason? You know what I'm talking about. Because that's exactly what happened. He said, I don't know you, I don't even know your name, but listen, I gotta take these pictures home to my mom first and let her see the whole pack. Then I'll bring you a picture tomorrow. Well, needless to say, I never saw him again, so it is what it is. <laughs> 10 years later, I'm in Kentucky Fried Chicken, maybe eight or seven, I don't know. Guess who walked in the door? The same guy I want the picture from. <laughs> Crazy, right? He was coming to see who was his brother, who was the manager, my manager. And I said, you was the guy I wanted the picture from. <laughs> he said, I look for you. The next day I never saw you again. I said, they transferred me. <laughs> because the buses were on protest. <laughs> now, I just don't do it. So I hope you like my first videos. My first. So I hope you liked my first. Tell me your first. I know you had some first too. I know you have some first. I know you did some things you can remember and you want to laugh about it. Leave me a comment below. I'll see you in my next video podcast. That to you right now.